the Broken Bell and the Roman Catholic Church of Pandan. A tribute to Reverend Father Joaquin A. Yuso Jr. It all started with a broken bell. When Father Kin was assigned as a parish priest in 2004, the first thing that caught his attention was the broken bell. He asked me to look for a foundry that can make similar bell, 36 inches in diameter and 48 inches tall. I ended up at Asistosa Foundry at Pabia, Iloilo. Meanwhile, Father Kin was starting and sending solicitation letters to the Alunsagay and Yusuf clan. Out of necessity and the generosity of Yoso Nenaong, she lent us 365,000 pesos to cover for the cost of the new custard bell. The donations of the Alunsagay and Yusuf clan started to pour in. After setting aside 365,000 pesos, which was never paid back, we decided to elevate the flooring and to replace the old marble flooring of the church. It was then in the advent of Typhoon Frank that for the first time there was flood inside the church, hence the elevation of one foot. We also decided to install granite tiles. In this endeavor, Babet Yoso Haloska lent us 450,000 pesos, which was also never paid. With the help of Boyat Yoso Ong, we ordered a real granite slabs from Kalaokan City. The total weight of the granite slabs was more than two tons. It was shipped to Lipata Port on three ship loadings. When it was delivered to Pandan, in the absence of a forklift, it was unloaded manually and carefully, piece by piece. More donations for the bell came in, which we estimated it can cover for the expenses of the new ceiling of the church. We hired the services of architect Cornelio Dioso Riomalos for free to do the design. After ordering materials from Manila, architect Connect lent us three of his workers the new technology of metal firing and hard effects board. So as not to disturb the daily Holy Mass, we made the construction of the ceiling section by section using a movable scaffolding platform using one and a half GI pipe, old plums, and plywood. The painting was done section by section also. The color of the ceiling and the marbleized columns being decided by Father Kim. We also repainted the pews. Onena Joso Ong again donated foam and leather for the kneelers. The 16-inch ceiling electric fans were solicited from the parishioners, which was later replaced by wall fans. The front door and the church organ was donated by Dalmasio Joso Aluhipan. The overhead projector and the original church sound system was donated by Doctora Lourdes Joso Aluhipan Burgos. Flori Joso asked if we still have some amount for the construction of an adoration chapel. But we did more. We constructed a left-wing extension of the church and the Adoration Chapel. Little by little, the donation of Alonsagay and Joseph Plan trickled in. And with the help of Paris fans, it was enough to start the construction 
of the left wing of the church. The funds easily diminished. So we devised a means of a new solicitation scheme. It was announced in the pulpit, and Father Kin again wrote solicitation letters around the globe, which reads, Ginapamaan sa tanan na ang makaamot kang kantidad na 10,000 pesos, $250, ang andangaran isulat sa bronze plaque, bronze nga plaque, kag-ibutang sa harige sa ginapatindog na left-wing extension kang simbahan. The contributions was again enough to finish the Adoration Chapel, Chapel of Saints, and Baptistery. Because you are using Paris funds and for transparency purposes, it was then that we submitted to the Paris Treasurer the source of funds and the accounting expenditures of the said project. This was the birth of our Evangelium, a weekly newsletter detailing the solicitation and expenses of our construction sent around the globe to donors and to every chapel in the barangays. This Evangelium also contains the activities of the Paris Council, ang kabuhi it parokya, the daily mass sponsors, the relevant gospel and homily, and the KBL of the week. Kasal, bunyag, lubong. Who are married? Kasal. Who are baptized? Bunyag. And the dead that are buried? Lubong in the week. This is to be published when Father Kin retired. I then asked the advice of Boyat Yosu Hong on what to place in the flooring of the Adoration Chapel. He discouraged us from using a carpet. Since there was an acacia tree that was cut in the construction of the Pandan Bay Institute Incorporated Lamine College Building, we utilized the acacia wood as wood slabs flooring. A four-feet wooden chalice of the four demonstrants. And the demonstrants was solicited Reverend Father J.R. Aluhipan from the Aluhipan Sisters of Arasa San Sebaste, which they bought in Rome. A synthetic granite flooring for the Chapel of Saints and Baptistery was then installed. I designed and constructed the steel door and the steel window grills, and we decided to install a single bronze plaque which was placed at the back of the wing extension with all the names of the donors written on it. The donations for the bell from Alunsagay and Yusuplan again trickled in. Then we decided to build the shrine of St. Vincent Terer and the concreting of the church ground. The seven-foot statue of St. Vincent Terer was donated by Boyet Joso Ong. And the shrine for the broken bell was also constructed. The Ten Commandments and the Eight Beatitudes written in our Pandananan dialect was added. We finished the whole project in 2010, except for the sanctuary, in time for the retirement of Reverend Father Joaquin A. Yusu Jr. The Bell Since 1893, this bell was heard calling the faithful to worship the true in God. In this parish, it is a witness to tens of thousands of baptisms, weddings, and funerals until it broke. It is resting here at the foot of the pedestal of our patron saint, inside a heart-shaped structure. The heart stands for the church, and it is divided into two, 
One half reminds us of the Old Testament Church with the Ten Commandments at the Constitution. The other half stands for the New Testament Church with the Beatitudes as the Constitution. After buying a new bell, now hanging on the bell fry, mark, kinpaubra, it mga kaapuhan, ni Padre Ricardo Villanueva, sa darwa na nakaunga, na si Maria Alonsagay Joso, kag Elena Alonsagay Aluhipan, sa tuig 2004, Agusto, tang si Padre Joaquin Joso, ang pura paroko na anang apo. This memorial graveyard of the bell, mark of the broken bell, mark, Shendo Cora Paroco L. R. P. F. Ricardo Villanueva, Anyo 1893, was constructed by the great and great great grandchildren of Reverend Father Ricario Villanueva, the Alonsagay, Yuso, and Aluhipan. When Reverend Father Joaquin A. Yuso Jr. became the parish priest for the year. 2004 to 2010. To the descendants of Mariano and Gregorio Gioso, based on our family tree, the first grandchild of Reverend Father Ricardo Villanueva, who became a priest, was Monsignor Jose Alugipan. The second great grandchildren of Reverend Father Ricardo Villanueva is Reverend Father Joaquin Alujado Yuso Jr. and Reverend Father Aluis Sanchez Aluhipan Jr. And the third great-great-grandchild is Reverend Father Alfonso Azucena Aluhipan Jr. All Jr. The first generation was Monsignor Jose Aluhipan. The second generations are Reverend Father Joaquin Yusu Jr. and Reverend Father Aluis Aluhipan Jr. And the third generation is Reverend Father Alfonso Aluhipan Jr. We hope and pray that this lineage of priests will not be broken. This is a calling. Who will be the fourth generation priest? Only God and our grandchildren can answer this. Reverend Father Ricardo Villanueva is our common ancestor. He came from Spain. He brought the 1,059 pounds bronze bell to our parish in Pandan. This is all that I know. If we are facing a Facebook, now that we all knew that we all descended from a Spanish priest, and the picture of Reverend Father Ricardo Villanueva is in front of you. You either hit wow or sad. It is your choice. Narrated by Engineer Alfonso Dioso Aluhipan Sr. Produced by Francis Paul Azucena Aluhipan, Front End Web Developer, 135 P. Aloy Pan Street, Centro Norte, Pandan, Antique. End of record.